hello everyone assalamu alaikum today i am going to show you how you can implement the half wave rectifier in multi sim simulation so let's start so first of all i need some necessary components all right so first of all i need a uh, ac power source so place component search for ac power that's it this is my AC power source. I will change the value later, so I don't need to worry about that right now. I can simply place it right here. And now I need a diode. So for diode, I'm gonna use 1N4007, this diode. So I'm simply placing this diode right here. And now I need a resistor. So I will search for register rated. That's it. First of all, I need to rotate this register like this. And let me simply connect the circuit first. And so now I need to change some values according to what I want. This is the AC power source. So if I simply double click here, I can change the voltage in RMS. If I want to apply a peak voltage here, so what I need to do, I need to divide that voltage with respect to root 2. Let's say uh, I'm taking 6 peak, all right, 6 peak voltage. So therefore, I need to divide it like this, 6 divided by root 2. And the result might be something like 3.54 or something like this. If I want, I can change the frequency. Let's say I want a thousand hertz frequency right now. So that's it. I can also change the value of the register. Let's say I want two kilo ohm here. And for measuring the graph, I mean for calculating whether I am getting a half cycle or not, because this is a half cycle uh, half cycle rectifier, or you can say half wave rectifier. I need a oscilloscope so i'm simply gonna use this oscilloscope this is channel a this is channel b let's say i'm going to measure the graph input graph in this channel a and the output output graph in channel b so it should be lined up in the input section and that means our this ac voltage because this ac power source is powering up this entire circuit so for that i'm gonna connect the ac channels plus i mean positive section to here and i'm gonna connect this channel i mean this wire into this ac power source here so this oscilloscope will provide me the input graph in channel a and for getting the output graph which is which should be half cycle so i mean half wave so i'm gonna place this b channels positive section here and negative section right here all right now if i simply simulate this i will get the input graph in channel a and i will get the output graph in channel b let me simply start the simulation process all right an error has occurred i have to simply resolve it a circuit has been completed now it's time to start the simulation process so let me simply run the simulation and if i simply double click on our oscilloscope then here we are getting uh, the dual graph in our dual channel by dual channel i uh, i'm trying to mean here is that i'm getting the graph for channel a and channel b all together now let's say i want only the graph for the channel one then what i need to do in channel b i need to click on zero and therefore i am getting simply the input graph and for getting a decent graph like uh, like which i want i can simply change the time basis scale and channel a scale time division and voltage division most probably if i am not mistaken so this is it and i can change it as well five that means five volt peak so five plus five ten volt peak to peak all right now this graph is kind of a, co a continuous graph don't worry about that if we want a single curve section then i can simply click on single and you see i'm getting that here now let's say 
I want to display only the graph for channel B. That means the output graph, not channel A. So what I can do, I can simply uh, change the channel B from 0 to DC. And as I don't want the gra graph of channel A, so I'm gonna change channel A from DC to 0. You see, I'm getting the half wave, half cycle. All right. And if I also want a single graph, so I can simply click on single and that's it. So this is called the positive half cycle rectifier or you can say the positive half wave rectifier because the output curve is getting on the positive direction. If it gets in a negative direction, then we call that negative half cycle. In the next part, I'm going to show you how you can get the negative half cycle from this circuit. So now I'm going to show you how you can get the negative half cycle. For getting the negative half cycle, what I need to change in this circuit is that I need to simply change the direction of this diode. Let me simply delete this diode for now and let me add the diode again 1N4007. This is my diode. And what I need to do, I need to change the direction of this diode so that I can get the negative half cycle wave in my graph. All right. So for that reason, control R, control R. That's it. And now I can simply add this diode to my circuit. And now let's say if I simply run the simulation, you see in the output section i am getting the negative half cycle or you can say the negative half wave rectifier i mean this circuit is re the representation of the negative half wave rectifier and i am getting negative half cycle here in the output in the input i am getting the normal sine wave 5 volt peak 10 volt peak to peak as earlier but if i simply want to get the uh, negative half cycle in channel B, I can do this like here. I'm getting the negative half cycle. So that's it. 